Okay, welcome back guys. So in this lecture, what I would like to do is to create a product model. This product model is gonna hold all the information um, for our product into the database. Uh, okay, so this is where we left off at, right? This is the controller for the, uh, for the creation of a new product. And we ended up console logging uh, some, the, the, the incoming data from the front end into the console. Uh, for testing purposes towards the end of the video. Um, but this is actually, so this is, this in, in right inside here, this is where we're gonna start uh, setting up uh, all that, that, that logic that's going to communicate with the database uh, or saving the product into the database. However, we have yet to create the product model and so that's what I wanna take care of now before we start working on this controller inside here. So the first thing we can do is over here, instead of models, we're gonna create a new file and call it product. I'm gonna put capital letter P. All right, so now we have this. And the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna need to bring in uh, require in mongoose. And then we're gonna start setting up um, our, our product schema. I'm gonna call it product schema and this, we're going to create a new instance of mongoose dot schema and then this takes an argument which is an object with all of the the properties that we ha want to have for this uh, product so the first one we want to do is we can actually um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here to get help um, for our for the properties that we're going to need, so we I'm going to work my way from the top to the bottom. So the first thing I know I'm going to I'm going to need to store uh, an image. However, I'm not actually going to store the image itself because that's actually bad practice to store the whole image into the database that that bloats up the database, which is not good. So what I'm going to do a better approach is to just store uh, the file name, the path of that file. Um, that we have uh, over here inside the file system under the folder name uploads and this uploads folder actually contains the, the actual image but we just need the file name the path of the image here and that's what I'm going to store inside the database okay um, and over here we may we have it, it, this is possible because we're using Motor and Motor attach this file object here onto the request object um, that we have available to us, okay? And that's how we're able to make, uh, have that information about the image, its location um, available to us. Okay, so over here, so the, the image, so I'm gonna call this uh, product file. Um, yeah, product file, I'm gonna call it product, product, uh, um, Product file name? No, file name. Yeah, I'm gonna just do file, file the file name. Okay, the file name, and I'm gonna do a type of. It's gonna be a type of string, and it's gonna be required. True. Okay, and the second property is. Let's go back here. So the next one is name. Okay. So I'm gonna do, uh, I'm gonna call it product name. Product, yeah, product name. There's gonna be a type of string as well. Required, it's gonna be true. And I'm gonna do a trim, trim the white space from both sides, true. And I'm gonna do a max length of, uh, I'm, gonna do, I'm gonna do 60. All right, so the next one was um, over here, going down, description. So that was, so that's product description. Type, type string. Require, no. Actually, I'm not gonna have it required. It's optional, okay? 
um, but I'm gonna do trim true okay and that's it for that all right so the next one we have price product price and there's gonna be a type of number this time it's number required true and that is yeah and that's it for that and then the next one going down let's see category all right it's going to be slightly different um, there's going to be so product category and this is going to be of type all right so the category we need to get access to the categories uh, unique id and the way we're going to do that is we're going to go to the top here and we're going to destructure something from mongoose and schema now the schema object has a property called object id okay and this object id is going to allow us to get access to the category um linked to the specific product so we're going to have to do here for type it's object id and then in order to make this happen though we also need a property called ref which is which is uh, what's the reference or or the model that we want to reference to um which is which in this case it's the category that's that's where we that's that's where we want the object id from we want it that it's located inside the category model okay so these two um uh, these two properties are important so the type object id and the reference is the model which is in this case is category and i also want to make this required of true all right continuing on all right let's see so we get that and then finally we got the quantity all right so we got product quantity and this is type which is a number required true and then that's it for that and then finally over here right after this uh, curly brace here we're gonna do another object with a timestamp property of true all right so this is gonna give us information as to the the, the date and time uh, this product was created okay and then we're gonna do we're gonna do uh, product equals mongoose dot model and then product and then the name of schema which we called it product schema and then finally we're gonna we're gonna export this right to make it available elsewhere where we need it so we're going to export that module exports product and that is it okay so we have our model right here we have it set up so now at this point now that we have a model set up we can import that right over here right inside our controller and we'll take care of that in the next uh in the next video okay